All right, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. And I know it's been a few weeks since we did an episode, but we're here today. Giant Foods, often imitated, but never duplicated. And you know I'm a massivist. Today, we're gonna make a quesalupa. Now, if you're not familiar with a quesalupa, a quesalupa is exactly what it is. It's a chalupa, but it's a quesadilla. And together, but we're gonna make it huge. So it's gonna be a massalupa. Alright, so at the heart of every, you know, Mexican dish, there's some sort of meat. We got beef here, we got the 80-20 because we're trying to keep the calories down. I've got uh, three and a half pounds of beef here. We're gonna go ahead and brown that up. Now, as far as what we're making the uh, actual, like, quesadilla shells out of, I bought these, um, like, thin and crispy pizza crusts, and they make, like, Mexican pizzas with them, so I thought I could put two of these together, pepper jack cheese in between them, like it calls for, Taco Bell, and then bake these things, and it should make me one huge quesalupa. Hypothetically. Okay, so the instructions per the sheet call for olive oil. Olive oil these things up. This obviously helps with the browning of them, I'm sure. see that. I've actually got um, one pound of pepper jack here. Now the shell creation is going to be, let's just say creative because I'm not sure how it's going to work out. We're going to give it our best. I'm gonna take each one of these, fill a full pepper jack. And make sure I get all the paper out of here. I'll get a surprise when I go to eat it. Cheese. Original taco. Best by June 15 of 15. <laughs> I have had this a while. Uh, I'm, I'm not really a huge, super big fan of tomatoes, but I did get some tomatoes because diced tomatoes on top of the chalupa. Case of lupa, sorry. Um, tomatoes are gross though. Tomatoes are. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, um, but like I said, it's um, part of the ingredients, Mr. Cool. I guess um, so. And if we're trying to be authentic, I mean, I have to. I have to use it. I, have to. I mean, the best way to eat a tomato is to throw it in the trash. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know. For the sake of the case of lupa, we're gonna go ahead and use it. I got two whole tomatoes. It's not good. <laughs> I just don't. I don't like the taste. You know. Now the next step: scrape it into the trash can. <laughs> Healthy lettuce. And giant foods has to have giant cheese. So stuff them and put them together, you know what I mean? Alright, so we got a quesadilla shells here, Andy Pool. And uh, we're going to try to give this up since I ended up making two monster quesalupas. Try to give you that as best as possible. 
We're gonna sour scream these things up, Andy Pool, because you know you can't go wrong with too much sour scream, right? And uh, since we got a whole pound and a half of this stuff, we're just gonna go ahead and load them up because sour cream. Yeah. I just don't think you can get enough sour cream. There's probably a point where it's enough sour cream. You think? I would probably draw the line past like one of those. One of these tubs. Comment below if you could just eat sour cream. It's kind of like cottage cheese without the lumps. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now you know what we need to build. We need to build like a taco form for these things. You see what I'm saying? I think that's the issue. Go outside, get some two by eights. Get some two by eights. Take out a loan, get some two by eights. <laughs> so, put this on. Oh. You almost made three of those shells. Almost time, didn't I? It's a uh, pretty epic, right? I feel like. I feel like it. I feel like it turned out though. Come on, what was So without further ado, two monster, ah, two monster case of lupas. Monster case of lupas. Three, two, one. Case of lupa time. It's more like a monster lupa. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if I can <clears throat> try to pick one up. I mean, oh, look at that. That's like huge. Thing is beast. All right, here we go. You talk about like nothing on this. Well, um. Thin crust pizza dough actually worked out. It tastes a lot like a potato lupa. This thing is big and burly. Right? I would say they're about four pounds a piece. It's bigger than my face. They're good though. Got my big scepter here. <laughs> Scoop up some of my fallout. Yep. I plan on it.
I need is some salsa. Food bull economy. Yeah. Like I said. Yeah, authentic Taco Bell hot sauce here. Mr. Bull's trying to kill me with hot sauce. There's some mild. Hooked me up with some mild because he knows I'm a big Nancy when it comes to hot sauce. The best of all continents at Taco Bell. <coughs> Breakfast also. My personal favorite. Let's see if we can uh, cut this thing down a little bit. Fun fact, I, uh, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, mushrooms, anything that starts with vegetable. Eggplant, gross. considered manageable. I mean, look at the size of this thing. It's a beast. Mm. Just as good as the first one. Things are big and dense, and they got that cheese in them. It's like congealed. <laughs> I think Taco Bell congealed cheese. Definitely one of the tastiest ones, but I don't feel one of the messy. Whew! Sweating like a hog. The 
I'm about to have to clear America here. I can't believe we've ever had these. It's from Walmart. Best flavor is like blackberry lemonade. Fuji apple. Kind of weird beer flavor. Mo. Mo. Wow. Team 23. Alright, Killer Clan. So that was uh my take on the quesalupa from Taco Bell. I ended up making two and they were uh about four pounds a piece, so about eight pounds. You know, that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but like I said, giant foods isn't all about making the biggest. It's about just making giant versions of the things that we enjoy the most. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. It helps me out tremendously be awesome if we could ever get a video to 10,000 likes because I heard that really stimulates the algorithm and that would be appreciated. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. and uh, no I haven't forgot about the other new series I want to start to. I'm just uh, trying to work out some of the particulars so I got some more info about that. Until next too. time, go to Taco Bell, get yourself a quesalupa if they're still available. I know that ours in town has the naked chicken chalupa. I don't think they have the case loop anymore, but if they do, go get one. Just make a, just get a regular one. Don't, don't make a big one. I mean, if you're gonna make a big one, share it with somebody. Take it easy.